All right, everyone, listen up. Today, we're not in some fancy Michelin-starred restaurant. We're about to hit the streets of Buenos Aires, a city that lives and breathes food. Forget your fancy foams and your tweezers. This is about real food, bursting with flavor. Get those notepads out because you're about to learn how to make street food that'll blow your mind. We're talking about the kind of food that'll make you want to share with everyone. It's that good. From sizzling chorizo to melt-in-your-mouth pastries, Buenos Aires has it all. So, if you think you can handle the heat, stick with me. We're about to embark on a culinary adventure that'll leave you craving more. Get ready to get your hands dirty because we're going to be making some of the most iconic Argentine dishes. No more messing around, let's get this show on the road. Number 1. The Chorizo Champion First up, we're exploring the king of Argentine street food, the mighty choripan. This isn't some sad limp sausage in a soggy bun, no way. We're talking about a juicy, perfectly grilled chorizo bursting with flavor. And the bread? Don't even get me started on the bread. Crusty on the outside, soft on the inside, it's the perfect vessel for this meaty masterpiece. Now, the chorizo itself needs to be top-notch. None of that low-quality stuff, we're looking for high-quality pork, seasoned to perfection. And the grilling? It's an art form. You need to get those beautiful char marks on the outside while keeping the inside juicy and tender. Number 2. Chimichurri Magic But what really takes this choripan to the next level is the chimichurri. This vibrant herby sauce is the perfect marriage of fresh parsley, oregano, garlic, and a touch of chili. It cuts through the richness of the chorizo, adding a burst of freshness that'll have you licking your fingers. Now listen carefully, making chimichurri is all about balance. Too much oil and it'll be greasy, too much vinegar and it'll be sharp. You need to find that sweet spot where all the flavors sing in harmony. First things first, chimichurri magic. Once you've got your chorizo and your chimichurri ready, it's time to put together this delightful treat. Slice open your crusty bread roll, spread on a generous dollop of chimichurri, and then carefully place your chorizo on top. Some people like to add a squeeze of lime juice, and honestly, I don't blame them. There you have it. The choripan, a true testament to Argentine street food. It's flavorful, it's delightful, and it'll leave you wanting more. Now stop dreaming and get cooking, and... Number 3. Pastry Perfection Next up, we're diving into the wonderful world of empanadas. These little pockets of joy are a staple in Argentina, and for good reason. They're basically little hand pies filled with a variety of delicious fillings, from savory meats to sweet cheeses and everything in between. But let's be clear, the key to a truly exceptional empanada lies in the pastry. It needs to be flaky, buttery, and melt-in-your-mouth delicious. We're not talking about some soggy, undercooked mess, no. This pastry needs to be crisp, golden, and strong enough to hold all that delicious filling. Next step, filling frenzy. Now, when it comes to fillings, the possibilities are endless. Classic beef, spicy chicken, tangy cheese, even sweet corn. You name it, you can put it in an empanada. But don't think for a minute that you can just throw anything in there and call it a day. Each filling needs to be cooked to perfection, seasoned with just the right amount of spice and balanced with the other ingredients. You need to create a flavor explosion in every single bite. Remember, we're not just making food, we're making empanadas. Number four, the empanada seal. Now, once you've mastered your pastry and your filling, it's time to learn the art of the empanada seal. This isn't just any folding job, no. The seal needs to be tight, secure, and look great. You need to make sure that none of that precious filling escapes during cooking, and don't even think about using a fork. The true mark of an empanada master is the ability to seal those treats up by hand. Practice makes perfect, you hear me? Number five, introducing provoletta. All right, everyone, listen up. We're diving into another Argentinian street food classic, provoletta. Forget your fancy cheese boards. This is about as straightforward as it gets. Thick slices of provolone cheese placed onto a scorching hot grill. The result, pure magic. We're talking crispy golden edges bubbling with a gorgeous caramelized char. And the inside, molten, gooey, stringy cheese with a touch of saltiness. It's the kind of simplicity that'll make you wonder why you bother with anything else. 
provoletta is proof that sometimes less is more. You take a quality provolone cheese, give it a kiss of fire and voila, you've got yourself a flavor sensation ready to delight your taste buds. Next step, the perfect provoletta. Now some of you might think, it's just grilled cheese, how hard can it be? But let me tell you, there's an art to making the perfect provoletta. And you'd be right, it's not rocket science. But it's also not as simple as slapping a slice of cheese on a grill and calling it a day. There's a fine line between a perfect provoletta and a rubbery burnt disaster. First off, the cheese. We're after provolone, but not just any provolone. It's gotta be the real deal. A good quality, aged provolone that can handle the heat. The aging process gives the cheese a depth of flavor and a texture that can withstand the grilling process. None of that processed stuff you find in a supermarket aisle, got it? You want a cheese that has character that tells a story with every bite. Then there's the grilling. You need a really hot grill to get that beautiful char on the outside while keeping the inside molten. The heat needs to be just right to create that perfect balance. Too low and slow, and you'll end up with a greasy mess. The cheese will ooze out and you'll lose that wonderful texture. Too hot, and you'll burn it to a crisp before the inside even melts. Timing and temperature are everything. Get it right, and you'll be in cheese heaven. The outside will have a delightful crunch, while the inside remains gooey and delicious. Finally, the seasoning. Keep it simple. You don't want to mask the natural flavor of the cheese. A sprinkle of oregano, a pinch of chili flakes for a bit of kick, and you're good to go. The oregano adds a touch of earthiness, while the chili flakes bring a subtle heat that complements the richness of the cheese. You don't need to go overboard with the seasoning. The cheese is the star of the show, and you want its natural flavors to shine through. And you're good to go. Serve it up hot and fresh and watch as your guests' faces light up with delight. Remember, simplicity is key here. The beauty of provoletta lies in its simplicity. It's a dish that doesn't need a lot of fuss or fancy ingredients. Let the cheese do the talking. When done right, provoletta is a testament to the power of simple, high-quality ingredients and careful cooking. So next time you're in Buenos Aires or even in your own backyard, give it a try. You might just find yourself falling in love with this humble yet extraordinary dish. Next steps, enjoying provoletta. So, you've grilled your provoletta to perfection. It's golden brown, bubbling, and practically calling out to be enjoyed. The aroma is delightful, filling the air with a rich, cheesy scent that makes your mouth water. What's the best way to enjoy this Argentinian treat? The options are as varied as they are delicious. Well, traditionally, it's served right off the grill, piping hot, with a side of crusty bread. The bread is perfect for scooping up the melted cheese, creating a delightful contrast between the crispy crust and the gooey cheese. And let me tell you, there's nothing quite like dipping that bread into the melted cheese, soaking up all that gooey goodness. Each bite is a burst of flavor, a perfect blend of textures that is simply irresistible. It's a match made in culinary heaven. The joy of sharing this simple yet delicious dish with friends and family is what makes it truly special. But don't be afraid to get creative. Provoletta is incredibly versatile. You can experiment with different toppings and ingredients to make it your own. You can top it with chimichurri for a fresh herbaceous kick, adding a burst of flavor that complements the rich cheese perfectly. Or add some chorizo for a savory punch. The spicy, flavorful chorizo pairs wonderfully with the creamy cheese, creating a mouth-watering combination. You can even use it as a topping for pizzas, adding a unique twist to your favorite pie, burgers, or even steak. Imagine a juicy burger or a perfectly cooked steak topped with melted provoletta. It's a game changer. The point is, provoletta is a blank canvas for your culinary creativity. Whether you keep it simple or go all out with toppings, it's sure to be a hit. It's simple, it's delicious, and it's a guaranteed crowd pleaser. Perfect for any occasion, from casual get-togethers to festive celebrations. So next time you're firing up the grill, give provoletta a go. You won't regret it. It's a delightful dish that brings people together, creating memories that last a lifetime. Number six, introduction to Milanese sandwich. All right, everyone, gather round. We're about to embark on a culinary journey that will take us straight to the bustling streets of Buenos Aires. We're diving into the heart of Buenos Aires street food, and this next one's a real treat. It's a dish that locals love and tourists can't get enough of. It's not some tiny fancy appetizer. It's a hearty sandwich, the Milanese. Imagine a sandwich so filling and satisfying, it could be a meal on its own. 
Think of it as Argentina's answer to the schnitzel, but with a Latin twist. It's got that same comforting breaded exterior, but with flavors that dance on your taste buds. This is proper food, not for the faint of heart. It's the kind of meal that fills you up and leaves you with a smile on your face. Now, when I say breaded and fried, I don't mean some soggy, oil-soaked mess. We're talking about a perfectly executed Milanesa, where the breading is light and crispy. We're talking a thin, crispy crust that gives way to juicy, tender meat. Each bite is a perfect balance of texture and flavor. Beef or chicken, your choice, but make sure it's cooked properly. The meat should be juicy and flavorful, not dry and overcooked. No one wants to bite into undercooked chicken. It's all about achieving that perfect cook where the meat is tender and succulent. This delicious sandwich is nestled between two slices of crusty bread, none of that supermarket stuff. The bread should be fresh with a nice crunch to complement the Milanesa. And to top it all off, a simple but classic combination, fresh lettuce, ripe tomato, and a good dollop of mayonnaise. These ingredients add a refreshing contrast to the rich Milanesa. None of that low-fat stuff, we're here for flavor. The mayonnaise should be creamy and rich, adding that final touch of indulgence to this already decadent sandwich. So there you have it, the Milanesa sandwich, a true testament to the vibrant and hearty street food culture of Buenos Aires. It's a must-try for anyone looking to experience the authentic flavors of Argentina. Next time you find yourself in Buenos Aires, make sure to hunt down a Milanesa sandwich. Trust me, your taste buds will thank you. Next step, the perfect bite. Let's talk about the perfect bite, shall we? You want a bit of everything in every mouthful. You want that crispy golden brown crust, the succulent meat, the tangy mayo, and the fresh crunch of the lettuce and tomato. It's a symphony of textures and flavors, a real explosion of taste. And don't be shy with the sauce for goodness sake. You need a bit of moisture to bring it all together. But I'm not talking about drowning it. A light hand, folks, we're not animals. You can find these beauties all over Buenos Aires, from little hole-in-the-wall joints to fancy restaurants. But honestly, the best ones are always from the street vendors. They've been perfecting their recipes for generations, and they're not afraid to pile on the fillings. Number 7. You Can't Go Wrong the Milanesa sandwich is a true testament to Argentine cuisine, simple, hearty, and absolutely delicious. It's the kind of food that warms your heart and puts a smile on your face. Trust me, you can't go wrong with this one. Now go on, get yourself to Buenos Aires and enjoy one of these delights. Number 8. Sweet Surrender all right, everyone, you've had your fill of savory goodness. Now it's time for something to satisfy that sweet tooth. And trust me, Argentina doesn't disappoint. We're talking about Alpha Horus, little bites of heaven that'll make you smile from ear to ear. Imagine two melt-in-your-mouth cookies sandwiched together with a generous dollop of dulce de leche. And when I say generous, I mean it. None of that stingy, scraping the bottom of the jar nonsense. We want that dulce de leche oozing out the sides. These little beauties are often dusted with powdered sugar or coated in chocolate because, let's face it, you can never have too much of a good thing. They're the perfect way to end a meal or to satisfy those afternoon sugar cravings. Number 9. The Perfect Treat Now there are countless variations of Alpha Horus, each more delightful than the last. Some are rolled in coconut, some are filled with different jams or fruit pastes, and some are even dipped in chocolate and sprinkled with nuts. It's enough to make your head spin. But for me, the classic Alfajor de Maicena is still the best. It's the perfect balance of sweet and crumbly, with that irresistible dulce de leche center. One bite, and you'll be transported straight to dessert heaven. You'll find Alfa Jores everywhere in Buenos Aires, from bakeries to supermarkets to little kiosks on street corners. They're practically a national treasure. So don't be shy, grab a few and enjoy yourself. Number 9. A Final Bite of Heaven Alfajores are the perfect ending to any Argentine street food feast. They're sweet, they're delightful, and they'll leave you wanting more. Trust me, your taste buds will thank you. Well there you have it folks. A whirlwind tour of the most delicious street food Buenos Aires has to offer. From the savory goodness of a Corapan to the sweet delight of an Alfajor, your taste buds are in for a real treat. We hope you enjoyed this delicious tour of Buenos Aires street food. 
Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more culinary adventures. Happy eating! For more amazing food and drinks tips and recipes, subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon so you never miss an update from us. Tell us about your thoughts in the comment section. Check out our other videos for more culinary inspiration. We love you. Until next time, keep cooking, stay adventurous.